All right, so today they just announced, of course, tomorrow, Global is getting the Summer Beach Guardian Blessing of Earth DN and uh, some other stuff we'll talk about here. But basically, this video will be me explaining um, why I'm personally skipping this unit on my free to play global account and why I actually recommend most people skipping. Obviously, you do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not your dad, right? But if you are free to play, I would advise skipping because of what she brings up, uh, what she brings to the table and how annoying it is to actually own her. Um, she's a unit made to make uh, OG demon easier and faster. And if you are a whale with a lot of whale friends that you can invite all the time, that have her, she's great. Because then you can constantly have players with her alongside yours, and it's it works just great. But if you are not, it's almost impossible to find players that have her because no one's selling for her. And the longer the time goes after this banner, right? The rarer she will become. And if you are someone using the end on OG team, if you don't know what she does, if all allies participating in deathmatch are of different races, rank up all skills at the end at the start of allies turn, it increases all basic stats by 30%, grants debuff immunity, limits one time. This part right here, she buffs all allies, but it only lasts three turns. So you have to end the raid in three turns. If you have a partner that doesn't have the end, it becomes completely awkward and clunky because then you can't do it in three turns properly and if you do that's fine right but she just makes the og demon faster where the og demon was ne og demon was never hard like i do og demon no problem i have arthur i do it i my problem with leveling up characters was, was never the og demon it's ssr pendants so <laughs> um she doesn't help on that front that's for sure um so yeah, that's why I'm personally skipping her. If you want to give it a try and see if you get lucky on the first few multis, she does not need dupes. That's for sure. You're, if you use her and your teammate has her, you will likely never see her ultimate. You will only see her ultimate if it's like in terrible situations. Then you might want to have her with dupes at that point. But even if dupes, her ultimate is not going to do much because it's, it's an AoE. And obviously the boss is just one. I have a problem with this character, okay? They knew... This is a deathmatch character, and they gave her an AoE card. It makes no sense. It's... <sighs> In any case, uh, yeah, this... I mean, this unit is good to have. That's, that's the, the thing, right? This unit should have been free. Like, maybe not free. I, I say free just because I, I, I'm i thinking of, like, Green Liz, and she's the same thing as Green Liz, right? Green Red Hair Liz was given out for free because you need her for Belmoth. Like, if you don't have her, now you have her, because she's free. But if you didn't have her, doing Belmoth with Randall's was, Randall was impossible. Like, no one would let you just be on the lobby. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was hopeful this would not become the case for the end, but to me, like, if I'm if I'm doing OG Demon now, if, my, if the guy I invite doesn't have the end, I'm kicking him. Like, I, I, I either I swap back to using Festival the end, so that my partner can use Arthur, or I just kicked him because it's not worth it doing with, with someone that doesn't have her. Um, very annoying. This should have been like a regular banner character so that people can pull her on SSR tickets. It's just so stupid. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm skipping because even if you have her, it's actually mildly inconvenient having her, which so sounds like contradictory, right? Because she's made to make the raid faster and easier. Um, and if, again, if, and if you don't have her, your life basically doesn't change, because no one else really is gonna have, the whales are gonna have her, but most people are not gonna have her. It's just, it's just a summer character. You need to use 600 gems, and you're gonna use 600 gems right before a new festival banner. Asterosa, literally coming out in two weeks for JP. Yeah, it's just, you know. Um... This special is actually has some stuff. Uh, resistance card set. I mean, if you are a green Valenti 
<laughs> players still. I mean, that's a good card set for you, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it, if it would be better than the damage reduction one, but maybe. Um, you can use Dn as your login character, but is Dn the same name? Uh, Dn is Ragnarok Dn. She will get a Holy Relic at some point, we just don't know when, it's just been leaked. Maybe like in two weeks or so. Um, summer costumes, just atrocious <laughs> Merlin costume. Of course, bundles, these awful bundles, except like this one maybe, all these other bundles, like, they don't put the price here. These bundles are so overly priced, it's insane. There's way more like filters and stuff for uh, characters, which is cool, I guess. Um, they are nerfing deer, kind of. I was hoping that they was gonna, they were going to remove the fact that he full heals when you drop him below 20% on phase 3. Uh, but instead they're, they're changing this card that you should delete your cards. And now he just... Uh, he just gains ultimate gauge instead. For himself. Cool, I mean... It is easier. But to me, when I do deer, I already always had it planned out because he always focused Jormungandr. So I actually would want him to delete Jormungandr cards because I don't care much for Jormungandr cards by the end of, of uh, deer. So it kind of cocked me there, but it, it's okay. I mean, technically it is easier. Um, they, they are buffing... Uh, <laughs> quote-unquote? No, they're not. They just changed the whole... Uh, yeah, I, they just changed the wording. I said, you know, I thought that his passive now worked in... Um, in raids, but it doesn't. No, they just changed the wording of Sigurd's passive because I'm going to assume a future character is going to have this passive. So, so here, the, the wording they are changing is here, right? In addition, the heroes is also of the demon race in all game modes. I'm going to assume that there's going to be a future character coming, like, relatively soon. Maybe even this is Theros, I don't know. Probably not. I, I wouldn't... I would not think that this is Theros. It would be like a uh, Asteros that transforms in my or some shit. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, some character in the future is going to have the passive that he counts as, like, double-raced. But doesn't work in specific game modes, maybe it doesn't work in PvP, or it doesn't work for demonic base, or for whatever reason. But, I'm assuming that's why they're changing the wording. Um, but yeah. And, um... Login bonus, you get 7 SSR tickets, and, uh, 35 gems. Um, for login for 2 weeks. Not bad. These, uh, <laughs> this is a story quest that He's just clicking, 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 clicking. This chest has horrible rates. It's like 20% for the gold chest. Um, oh, it's actually not bad. So, uh, you get all these for free, right? I think you get all these for free. I'm not sure, because I... No, you, you don't. No, you, you do. You get them from the... From the I'm confused. I think you get you get them for free, <laughs> yes, because I don't remember if I got them on the JP. They're actually not bad. A lot of people on stream still ask me, why do my demons last for three hours? This is right here. Deathmatch activate duration 100 uh, minute increase. Uh, not bad. Uh, this thing, okay. Bingo. Bingo has a good amount of rewards. I always like Bingo. Um, now they're actually updating Bingo. You can actually auto the uh, the pick once, which is kind of nice. This boss is coming back, recycling bosses, love that. I mean, I don't mind them recycling bosses on a kind of like a dead-ish week like this one, to be honest. Um, but, you know, they just recycled bosses in Anniversary, so, <laughs> you know. Um... Oh yeah, all the beach cosmetics are like discounted from 30 to 20. So if you want to grab some, I guess it's not a bad time to. Um, if you still need like a, the one weapon, not a bad time to buy it, to be honest. Um, like a bun haircut, if you still use bun in PvP. And uh, of course, the these cosmetics are coming back because they're back on the banner. Um, although... 
personally, I am waiting for uh, the actual like half off for the cosmetics, which should be at the end of the year um, on my uh, my free to play. Although the one's cosmetic is not a bad buy because uh, it's the one. He's still. Oh no, they, these are thirty, huh? Never mind then. <laughs> these shitty old characters are twenty. Yeah, buy buy the the beach cosmetic for base Meliodas. Remember the great base Meliodas we recently got the blue one. Yeah, I mean it's it's an okay patch. Um, the end again. You do whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend.